So this is another Olympiad question where we are going to make use of Lambert's W function. So the given equation is 4 to the power of x plus x is equals to 260. Okay, and we need to find the value of x. You know, the one bit you thing about Lambert W function, Lambert W function is just a function which is product of a function with exponential of that function. Okay, that is, it can be of this form, a exponential a, then this will give you a. So this is what we call Lambert W function. Okay, whenever you have a function here, which put out of exponential to the power or exponential to the given function, then that must give you what the function. Okay, now from here you have 4 to the power of x plus x equals to 60. Okay, so let's take x to the right hand side where you have 4 to the power of x equals to 60 minus x. Okay. Now, uh, what we need to do here is to make the left hand side to be 1. And for that to be 1, we need to divide both sides by 4 is the power of x. Okay, so you divide both sides by 4 to the power of x. And 4 is the power of x over 4 is the power of x. That will give us 1. And of course, this can be written as 4 is the power of minus x in bracket of 260 minus x. Okay, now, the next thing to do here is that look at this expression we have here. This is 260. Uh, minus x and here you have minus x as the power of 4 is there a way to rewrite the power of 4 to be 260 minus x as well okay so now for x to make the power of 4 to be 260 minus x so we need to multiply both sides by what 4 is to power of what 260 okay so let's do that multiply both sides by 4 is to power of 260 so this is 4 is to power of minus x times 4 is to power of 260 then in bracket of 260 minus x okay and this remains as 4 to the power of 260 so now minus x we apply indices now this is minus x plus 260 okay then you have 260 minus x now you have 4 raised to the power of 260 equals 4 that can be written as 260 minus x then in bracket of 260 minus x. Okay, now uh, the next thing to do here is that remember when you have, if I have 2, do you know this can be written as exponential ln 2? Okay, because exponential and ln they are inverse. Okay, they are inverse function. So likewise, if you have x, this can be written as exponential ln x. Okay, so what am I trying to do here? I want to rewrite this 4 here in terms of exponential length okay now you are 4 to the power of 260 now this is exponential length 4 and uh, don't forget you have power of 4 to be 260 minus x okay then you now have 260 minus x here okay and one of the rule of natural log is that so when you have length a to the power of b that can be written as b length a Okay, for that reason, 260 minus x can stay as a coefficient of what as of length 4. So now you have 4 to the power of 260, then exponential 260 minus x, length 4. Okay, length 4, then uh, 260 minus x. Now, uh, what we are trying to do is just to rewrite the right answer in terms of Lambert W function. Now we have our exponential already, then we have an expression here. And when you go back to the beginning where we said lambda w function of something times exponential of something must give us something. Now we have expression power of exponential here to be 260 minus x length 4. And here we have 260 minus x. So the only difference here is that there is no length 4 here. Okay, now we need to find a way to bring that length 4 here. And we can only do that by multiplying both sides by what's length 4 okay we can only get that when you multiply both sides by length 4 so when you multiply both sides by length 4 you have 4 to the power of 260 length 4 equals exponential then 260 minus x length 4 and 260 minus x length 4 now so we can now take lambda w function of both sides 
so which is w4 to the power of 260 ln 4 then this e to the power of 260 minus x ln 4 then 260 minus x ln 4 okay now and we call that from lambda w function i told you when you have lambda w of a exponential a this should give us a okay so that means the whole of this expression now will give us what 260 minus x name 4. so we have lambda w function of 4 to the power of 260 then 4 now here you have 260 minus x then 4 okay and we can just rewrite this to this 260 minus x then 4 equals lambda w function of 4 to the power of 260 minus ln 4 all right so we have now what is the next thing here let's just find a way to rewrite the right answer in terms of lambda w function as well okay so okay sorry about that now you have 260 minus x ln 4 equals uh number w function of this 4 to the power of 260 that can be written as 4 raised to the power of what was minus in here there is no minus here this can be written as 4 raised to the power of 4 dot 4 raised to the power of 256 okay you know why i'm doing this i'm trying to uh write 4 to the power of 260 as something that will give us 260 256 okay you know 4 plus 256 will give us what 260 now you have length 4 okay so this is 260 minus x length 4 because lambda w function of 4 to the power of 4 will give us 256 okay so we can just add that to be 256 length 4 times 4 raised to the power of 256 now we are getting there so we have 260 minus x ln 4 equals w of 256 ln 4 again i want to change i want to write 4 in terms of exponential length so that means we write that as exponential length 4 to the power of 256 okay so this is 260 minus x then 4 then Lambert function of 256 then 4 dots now this 256 can start as a coefficient of length 4 so that would be 256 length 4 and now we apply new Lambert function because 256 is length 4 here and we have 256 length 4 here so meaning that we have 260 minus x length 4 and the all of this should definitely give us what 256 length 4 because of the lambda w function okay and of course length 4 here we take length 4 so you have 260 minus x equals 256 and x is what 260 minus 256 okay so now 250, 260 minus 256 that will give us what 4 so the answer to the given problem now is 4. So let's check that from the given equation. 4 raised to the power of 4 is 256. 256 plus 4 will give us 260. Alright, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.